Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on lead code regarding the managers with at least five direct reports and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is medium and this question has been asked in Amazon as well as Bloomberg interviews over the past couple of years. Okay, let's jump right in. We are given a table called employee with four different columns, ID, name, department and manager ID. ID is the primary key column for this table. Each row of this table indicates the name of an employee, their department and the ID of their manager. If manager ID is null, then the employee does not have a manager. No employee will be a manager of themselves. Okay. We are asked to write a SQL query to report the managers with at least five direct reports. The order of the result does not matter. Okay, let's go through this example, right? So here we have different people, their names and their departments and who manages them, right? The, the, the ID of their managers. So if you see clearly 101, right, manager ID, it has five people who directly report to them, right? Dan, James, Amy, Anne and Ron. And this person is basically John. And so obviously in the output, you are going to have John, right? So that is what we need to do. Okay. So to do this, what we can do is from this employee table, we can group by the manager IDs, right? So we can group by the manager IDs. And since this question says that, you know, ID is the primary key column, right? That means non-null unique values. So once you group by the manager IDs and count the number of IDs, right? You can get how many people, you know, uh, directly report to that particular manager. And then based on then we can also filter, right? Because the question says at least five direct reports. So we can also, you know, filter by that and then move forward from them. So let's start with it, right? So from this table called employee, right? What we're doing is let's group by the manager ID column, right? So you group by the manager ID column, but you are only going to keep such managers who have at least five direct reports, right? So how can you filter based on an aggregate value? You, do you use where or do you use having, right? So you guessed it, right? We used having in this case when you are going to filter based on an aggregate value, right? So we write having, right? The count of ID column, right? So the count of, so this is a group, right? So this 101 is a group and then it will count, okay, how many different employees directly report to this particular manager, right? So that is why we write having count of ID at least five, right? So, which means greater than equal to five, right? So if you have this, then what you are going to return, basically return the ID of the manager. In the output, we don't need the ID, we need the name, right? But from this, let's get the ID of the manager, right? So return manager ID. Okay, so from this, what we have, all the managers who have at least five direct reports. Now from, we need the name of that particular manager, right? Or all the managers who have at least five direct reports. So for that, you need to come back to this employee table, right? Because here, if you see, you have the IDs and their names. So what you can do is once you have identified all the managers who have at least five direct reports, what you can do is from this employee table, you can filter where this ID belongs to this, whatever you get from this and then return the name, right? So that is how you can get it. So what we can do is we can put this entire thing in parentheses, right? And then let's say from, right, from the employee table where your ID is in, right? Where your ID is in all the managers who have at least five direct reports, right? So you have that. And then for those managers, you just return the name column, right? Because that is what you need in the output. So name, right? So let me go ahead and run this to see what happens. Okay. So this is accepted. Our output is same as expected output. Let me go ahead and submit it to see if part is all the test cases. So if this passes all the test cases and this is how we do it again, very simple question. All we had to do was firstly identify the managers with, who have at least five direct reports. And then based on that, we are using the employee table again to filter on those manager IDs who have at least five direct reports. And for them, we are returning the name. Okay. I have a challenge for you guys. What you do is instead of doing this, it this way, right? Say the whatever manager IDs you are getting from, you know, uh, this, this particular 
query, right, this particular part of the query, save this in a common table expression and then from that, you know, uh, try to join or try to filter based on that. Are you able to get exactly like what we are getting here or are you having some problems with null? And how will you solve that problem? Or can you even solve that problem? Let the solution be in the comment section below. And until then, I will see you guys in the next video.